it No gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today we are going to be playing some American Truck Simulator. I just started a new save game uh, earlier. I've done quite a few loads. Um, <clears throat> so we are only able to do the quick jobs right now. Uh, we're going to go from Phoenix to Hallbrook, hauling fertilizer in a 389. Right, so let's go ahead and get our truck fired up. So you can see we got our load of fertilizer on here. We are ready to head out of town. And we're going to do just that. Let's see, you gotta figure out how the heck to get out of this place. Um, we'll try this way, I guess. Yep, looks like this is the way. See, I'm going to have a few videos of this, just because I've been kind of playing this some now. Um, just kind of getting back into this game a little bit. It's a lot of fun to play. And uh, just checking out this new truck that they've added. Um, this uh, 389 here. Thought I'd give myself a fresh start, just because, uh, just for the heck of it, I guess. So we're going to build ourselves up and, uh, buy, <clears throat> buy our own truck and haul our own loads. So you need to get the dash display to my speed, which I went past. See, I'm going to try and get enough videos out for the next uh, week or so. Uh, just that way I got something to for you guys to see, something for you guys to have to watch. Um, it is currently the 21st of November, um, three days till three days till turkey day so that is coming up so we can go ahead and get uh, turned onto the interstate here See, I'm going to try and play as realistic as I possibly can. Try and uh, not speed too much if I can and that uh, kind of stuff. See, I've hauled, I think, three or four loads now. I just abandoned the last one uh, because it was not turning out very well. <laughs> um, so I abandoned it, and now I'm nearly $5,000 in the hole instead of $5,000 rich, I guess you could say. So yeah. We are going to go ahead and uh, haul this load of fertilizer in this episode. So yeah, with this, um, if you remember the old uh, American Truck Sim series that I had started a long time ago and only did a couple episodes of it, um, I said I was going to do those, you know, one episode is one load. That's what I'm going to do in this as well. Uh, each episode, we will haul one load. 
so that's how it'll work. See if we can get this truck up to 70 at least. Whoa. Wrong button. That was not the button that I wanted to hit. <laughs> I meant to hit C and not spacebar. Go ahead and turn our brights on. See, I will get back into farm sim as well. Um, I also did get my 1982 Chevy C30 uh, truck in game. It has a few issues. Uh, the outdoor camera, excuse me, kind of moves really weird. Uh, the indoor camera is inverted. I don't know why, how that happened. Um, the passenger side wheels, uh, the rims are backwards. And then um, uh, it also kind of floats a little bit. Uh, so I asked LMB Farmer if he would help me figure out those issues. So just sent the truck to him this morning, uh, a few hours ago. So he's going to take a look at it today and hopefully get it fixed up and get it sent back to me. Uh, once those issues are fixed, then it will be released. Uh, well, I also have to multiplayer test it then it will be released but um it'll probably be a thanksgiving thing for you guys maybe uh, like an early thanksgiving because i won't you know be able to put it out on thanksgiving but um yeah so maybe it'll be like a thanksgiving gift or something like that i don't know but um yeah so that'll be coming out sometime soon uh, I'm going to try and get the Circle J horse trailer in game pretty soon as well. That unfortunately will not be released um, because it is a paid model from Turbo Squid. So um, I unfortunately do not have the rights to release it with you guys. Otherwise, I probably would. Um, but, you know, as I said before, any model I pay for won't be released because any model I pay for, I will not be paying for the copyrights just for the 3d model itself um i did get a bunch more models from polygonish just to finish buying you know i bought what other ones that i wanted to get and i've been slowly working on them uh, i got one <coughs> just about ready for aoing and stuff uh, i just have to separate a few more pieces on it and then it will be ready to rock And then, um, yeah, then that'll be ready to rock, ready for in-gaming and stuff. Um, but yeah, the truck is just about done. Uh, the, it works in-game. Uh, dirt works. It does not look like it has windows, but it does. Uh, it's just the window texture I use. You know, it just kind of makes it look invisible. So, there is windows, but you just can't really see them that well or tell that they're there you know you just kind of see right through uh, it does not have a hitch on it right now I am thinking about uh, opening up the blender file for it and just building something quick uh, building a little hitch you know a little ball that just sticks right onto the um, right onto the bumper so might think about doing that and then you'll be able to pull trailers with it I'd like to get you know, I probably am going to add a hitch because I'd like to be able to use it for pulling my fuel trailer around um, and stuff like that. So um, the Ram 3500, I have not uh, done anything with it at all for quite a while. Um, just, you know, really I haven't had time or the ambition to do any of them, work on any of my mod projects, but... I will be getting back on to, uh, into doing them pretty soon, um, you know, more heavily. <clears throat> um, yeah, so uh, my map, I've had a few people ask me how that's going. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot with it, uh, aside from moving it to 
you know, re a fresh base map. Uh, you know, it's the same base map that it was on before, just a fresh copy of it because I had an issue happening that I did not know how to resolve. Um, it's it happened when I tried changing the sky textures to ones that I found on like Google. You know, I just took that image that I found on Google and resized it over top of the existing sky textures and it did not like that at all so um, yeah and I did a few little things to it but not a whole lot uh, I did see on a mod site a big pack of um, uh, map objects for 17 so I'm gonna work on getting those down to 15 which really won't be too hard uh, because all I've got to do is just export it to Blender and um, you know just use the FS17 Giants editor export it as an OBJ file import that to Blender um, you know use its existing texture files it's got you know the AO or it's got the diffuse map the spec map and the normal map so all I got to do is just overlay you know or open up the diffuse map and then in Giants Editor, apply the spec and normal maps, and away I go. So, going to work on that some today as well. Uh, I might video that, uh, just because it'll be something else to get out, and then you guys can kind of see something else too. Because um, it'll be, you know, it's something that people can learn too, that, you know, if they're staying in 15, and, you know, have some knowledge of stuff, you know, maybe they see objects that they want from 17 that aren't in 15, then they'll know how to do it, uh, how to get it down into 15. So we got, to, oh, only 21 miles left. Um, and right up here is our, right, here's our turn off. So after this car, we are good to go. Ooh, I just about turned way too wide on that one. Alright, so we're just about here. It is just up ahead, our turn actually right here okay let's uh, see where they want it we'll go ahead and get it uh, unhooked and that'll be the episode and then the next one we'll be hauling the next load Eh, this isn't too difficult of a parking job. Uh, the one that I did before the load that I abandoned, <clears throat> it went to Wahlberg, and I basically had to jackknife it to get it in. Uh, it was such a tight spot to get into that just had to jackknife in there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ooh, I'm way off track here. There we go. That's a lot better. It's just about straight in, though. Hopefully we're over far enough. I'm not entirely sure. 
Yep. Cool. So go ahead and get this unhooked and away we go. Excellent. So we are now level two and we are ready to rock. Um, let's do high value. Check our mailbox. Overdraft settled. Awesome. So we now have a whopping $206. Alright you guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure to check out down below in the description for links to my social medias, my mod site, um, my upload schedule, which I'm going to try and get back onto, and also other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.